Water is vital for all living things. Our bodies are made up of at least 60% water. Water on Earth is constantly moving between rivers, lakes, oceans, the atmosphere, and the land. It is recycled over and over again in a continuous system called the water cycle. You are still using the same water that the ancient Greeks and Romans used. The Earth has been recycling water for more than 4 billion years. Energy from the sun heats the Earth, and the temperature of water in rivers, lakes, and oceans increases. When this happens, some liquid water forms water vapor. This is called evaporation. Water can also evaporate into the atmosphere from plants. This is called transpiration. As water vapor goes up into the atmosphere, it cools and changes back into little droplets of water in the air, forming clouds. This process is called condensation. Air currents high in the atmosphere move the clouds around the world. When a lot of water has condensed, the water droplets become too heavy for the air to hold them. The droplets fall back to earth as rain. If the drops become colder, they may form snow, hail, or sleet. This process is called precipitation. The precipitation that falls then collects in rivers and open water such as large lakes and the oceans. Some of the water from precipitation will soak into the soil and rocks as groundwater, moving through the ground until it reaches rivers or oceans. Water that reaches the surface may flow directly across the ground into rivers, lakes, and oceans. This is called surface runoff. And so the cycle starts again, continuously recycling Earth's water through evaporation, condensation, and precipitation. What is the main source of energy that drives the water cycle? Wind The sun Earth's core Ocean currents Condensation Precipitation Evaporation Transpiration When water vapor cools and forms clouds, this process is called Evaporation Condensation Precipitation Runoff Which of the following is not a form of precipitation? Rain, snow, hail, evaporation. What happens when water droplets in clouds become too heavy? They evaporate. They form groundwater. They fall as precipitation. They disappear. Water that flows over the ground into rivers and lakes is called Groundwater Condensation Runoff Transpiration Plants release water vapor into the air through a process called Evaporation Condensation How long has Earth been recycling water? Millions of years. Thousands of years. Hundreds of years. Billions of years. Wind. The sun. Volcanoes. Tides. The process of water turning into vapor and rising into the atmosphere is called Condensation Precipitation Evaporation Filtration Runoff 
condensation, transpiration, sublimation. Rain, snow, sleet, and hail are all examples of runoff, condensation, transpiration, sublimation. Rain, snow, sleet, and hail are all examples of evaporation. Condensation, precipitation, infiltration. Water soaking into the soil and becoming groundwater is called runoff, infiltration, transpiration, sublimation. When plants release water vapor, it's called evaporation, condensation, transpiration, perspiration.